Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more bum free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, we're going to take a look at the groove from I Miss You by Blink-182, drummed by Travis Barker. So if you like what you saw in the intro and you want to give it a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. Okay, so I know on the recording, Travis uses a brush in his right hand and he's got a percussive block which he can hit. I'm pretty sure he has. Um, we're just going to use drumsticks and then the rim of the snare drum. We'll get the groove down between the kick drum and the snare drum first and then we'll add that nice little upbeat hi-hat a little bit later and I'll see if I can show you an exercise just to practice that a little bit there. So, between the kick drum and the snare drum, we've got bass drum on beat one and we're going to play one beat and two. So it's going to be right, left, right, left. From there onwards, we're then going to play and a uh, three E and, okay, so that's gonna be the and and the R B two. And a uh, three E, and so left hand's up onto the rib at this point. And a uh, three E, bass drum and the right hand are gonna meet up. And, and then we're gonna bring the left hand back to the snare for a big accent on beat four. So you get this one E and two, and a uh, three E and four. Once you get to beat four, we're just gonna put an and and an uh, uh which will be right left at the very end of it, and that's gonna roll straight back around into beat one. So. The groove between the kick drum and the snare drum should sound a bit like this. One little thing you can chuck in, or one thing you should chuck in if you want to get as close to the record as you can, um, and that is every other measure, stick in a little diddle with your left hand on the upbeat four, which should sound a little bit like this. Okay, and that left hand will sort of dribble into beat one, so you get that nice little purr on the snare drum before it sort of, you know, goes back around its loop. So let's just sort of play with and without the diddle, so you hear it with and without, with, without, with, without, kind of like it does. So here we go. Sounds pretty sweet. All right, so once you've got that down, it's time to add that nasty little upbeat sort of step on the hi-hat. Um, what I would practice at first is essentially you going. So you're sort of playing your bass drum, then you're stepping, hitting the snare drum, then stepping, and then because you've got that bass drum on the and a beat three, it's gonna come down the same time as your hi-hat, and then uh, you're obviously gonna clack your snare drum before, and then one more at the end. So you get this boom, chick, snare, chick, together, snare, chick, boom, chick, snare, chick, together, snare, chick. Missed it. <laughs> All right, so the interplay between the right and the left foot can be a little bit tricky. Once you get comfortable doing that, just see if you can start adding all the rest of those notes. And it should sound, hopefully, a bit like this. This is where I muck it up. One thing to note with that stepped high hat, it should always land at the same time as your right hand. So whenever that's coming down and you're doing a little ghosty with the right hand, you should be bang on. So what I'll do now, if I just pop up there, I'll play at a few different speeds just so you can see it from a different angle and then I'll come and say goodbye. Here we go.
Alright drummer, so there it is. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to pop over to onlinedrummer.com if you want to go and grab the sheet music for this lesson completely for free. Also, while you're over there, you can check out my quick start guide to playing drums, some various ebooks for you more advanced players, and in the links below you'll find, or in the description below, you will find some links to Facebook, Twitter, and my Patreon page if you want to come and support the channel. So, until next time guys, take care, keep drumming, and I'll see you next Thursday for some more fun free drumming ideas. Alright, see you later.